Hey ladies, so I wanted to do a Kim Kardashian tutorial for you today. I found an absolutely beautiful picture of her and I wanted to do it. I realized though with her I need to go out and get new lashes. I always use my Demi, Demi, nice. I always use my Demi Wispies and that's because I use those every single day but I realized, oh, I need to go out and get some new ones because hers are just so much longer, so much more feathery, all that kind of stuff. But it is a smoky eye, but I want to clean up my face a little bit and I wanted to go through some new things that I've been doing. So I'll show you what I'm using. I'll just put it on my face. I just don't wanna take a lot of time and talk your ear off. So let's go ahead and get started. Take off my wedding ring, I always do, because it always gets gross. I'm gonna be using some Ben Nye because her look is absolutely flawless in this look or in this picture and if you're at YouTube if you want to see the picture I'll put it as the thumbnail but you can go to classycosmetics.blogspot.com and you can see more of it okay so I am going to use my normal foundation which is the true match Ooh, as I drop the lid all over okay so I'm going to use a sponge Miss Kardashian's makeup artist, not her, her makeup artist is known for being absolutely incredible with her highlighting, especially right underneath her cheeks. So we're gonna make sure and do that. Okay, and with the Ben Nye, I'm gonna choose just something that's a little bit lighter than my natural color. I'm gonna take this brush, what is it? 272 maybe? Sure. Going to do this triangle right here and have that go right up there. I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. Your finger is already warm so it can really melt this product into your skin even better. I'll throw it right above my Cupid's bow too. Especially since she has such an amazing red lip. I'm going to line this anyway. Might as well do it now. A nice, good line. And then a little bit on your chin. Now obviously in this picture, she has cameras taking pictures of her, so the light off of their camera is creating this glow as well. But we can also try our best to get it with makeup. I'm going to take two different powders to powder my face. I'm gonna take NW20 from MAC. Oh, actually, I should probably cover up a little blemma. So I'll do that and just be right back. Just get whatever blemishes you have. Make a flawless, flawless face. Okay, now I'm ready for powder. Now this NW20 is the lighter powder. So the reason I'm going underneath and on top is because I want this to be hollowed out. A 
Okay, now with my Coastal Scents, I'm going to lightly chisel out the brow, or not the brow bone, the cheekbone. So with this bad boy, not a ton. She has a lot of contouring on her nose and slightly up here, but not a lot right on her cheek. So I am going to take my 120 brush from MAC into this brown. Look straight into my mirror. Go right there, just to give us that illusion that she has of this wide open, really bold cheek right here. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit and go right on top of that line that we did right here. Okay, now I'm going to take a 222 brush from MAC, very tall, very slender, same brown, starting at my eyebrow. And slimming out my nose quite a bit just to kind of give the illusion of this Kim Kardashian. Do you see how it's already chopped off right there? Remember to go all the way into your brow bone and then pull it down ever so slightly right at the top. It might look odd now, but it will blend in and look amazing. Kim Kardashian's nose seems to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Right there. And then Just rub it in a tiny, tiny bit with your finger, pulling it downward, just a little tiny bit, but other than that, don't touch it. Just leave it the way it is, okay? Now, for our eyes, I already used um, a little bit of concealer, and that's going to be my primer today. And I'm going to take for the brow bone, I'm gonna use vanilla, I'm going to use kind of a big brush. So this is the Maxine's Moth. This is the half inch. Now I'm going to take a, let's see, this is my Sigma, so my E40. And I'm going to take Bamboo, and you could use Samoa Silk from MAC. You can use Teta Tint from MAC. I'm just going to use this and lightly dust it kind of all over in the crease and a little bit on to my lid. I do want to make sure I get some over here and rub it in kind of to where we took that brown because she definitely has some orange over there. And this look is all about layering. We're gonna have lots of different colors going on, but we're just gonna layer. Okay, and after I've rubbed that in, I'm gonna go back in with vanilla and a pencil brush, which I don't seem to see. Oh, there it is. My 219. I'm gonna make sure that this stays pretty light on this inner corner. Now I'm going to take a more chocolate brown, and this is charcoal brown, and that's also from MAC. I'm going to take a smaller brush, my 217, and I'm going to go all over the outer half and just kind of pat it up into that outer V right there. This is a nice dark brown. And because all of these are mattes, they just look so super creamy on your eye. Super, super dark, super beautiful. Right? And with that same brush that you used for the orange, 
kind of wipe it off a little bit and just get that outer corner. Leave the intensity on the inside, but just get that outer corner. And a little bit, she pulls it up to her eyebrow, which we haven't done our eyebrows yet, but let's kind of create that shape with whatever was left. I didn't put any more on my brush. Just kind of pull it up to where you get that cat eye. Okay, and we don't want it to be too intense. So it's up there, but let's just smoke it out just a little bit. Blend it out, excuse me. All right, now her lower lash line is, it has stuff on the water line, but it looks pretty clear underneath. So I want to reinforce that with our vanilla and that same pencil brush. Just go right underneath. Then let's take Smolder from MAC, which is just a dark black. <clears throat> go on the inner water line. A trick to get this to stay a little bit better, take a flat brush, take any matte black shadow, and pat it in there. Now it smokes out just a little bit toward the end, so I really want to take a very, very small brush. I want to start with the brown, even though it looks a little bit darker than brown. What will happen just in this outside, kind of round it a little bit, is it'll pull down just a little bit of that black as I smudge it into the lashes. That way we don't need to go for straight black and maybe accidentally mess up. We're just gonna take the brown and it will pull some of the black. Keep it definitely to the outside. Perfect. Now I'm going to take some black shadow. I'm going to smudge it into my lash line. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to take my finger and smudge that in. As long as it's darkest around the lash line, you're good to go. Okay, now one quote, one quote. I don't know what up. Oh my word, I don't know what is up with the way that I'm speaking. It's crazy. One coat of mascara, and then her bottom lashes are always long and gorgeous, and I should also get bottom lashes for this. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my Demi Wispies, and we'll come right back and do some brows. So now we're going to go and do our brows. We're going to do black so it's more dramatic and looks more like hers. If ever you mess up on your brows like I just did, go ahead and take some of your concealer and a great concealer brush and just line right over it. Just outline it. So I'm going to take this brush right here. I did it just a little bit too thick for my liking on this side, even though it looks very similar to hers. I'm going to take some clear mascara just to tame the brows and the center part and push them upward. I'm going to do a very soft cheek color and I'm going to be using a cream blush from MAC and this is Posy. And mostly just following the line right over here of our bronzer. All right, and to warm up this face, she used a red lipstick, but with an orangey tone to it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to use a normal red lip liner though. 
but I am definitely going to have to go over my lips for Miss Kardashian. Mm. You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to take some concealer again and go over my lip line. This just helps to give a really crisp line. Especially when you're doing reds. To give the illusion of a bigger bottom lip, I'm also not going to go straight across, but I'm going to start on the inner corner and come down. Alright, once you have that done, I'm going to use my lip palette from Coastal Scents. I feel like this one has a lot of great colors in there. Just find any red lipstick that you have that has kind of an orangey undertone. I'm going to be using this one and this one mixed together. This one as my contour to where the lighter part is and this one probably everywhere else. Um, so it kind of looks like a wash all over. It doesn't look like she has darker out here or anything. So I'm going to take a lip brush. super glossy and beautiful and I'm actually going to take some actual gloss which I don't typically do but she did it for this look so we shall I'm gonna take MAC lip gloss I'm just gonna put some on the outside of my hand And give it that super big gloss. So that is the look for today. That is Miss Kardashian. She has big dangly earrings and her hair is all kinds of up so maybe I'll do that really quickly and I'll be right back. I'm gonna use some of my big sexy hair spray and play just to smooth out flyaways. I got that in my Ipsy. Oh, that works wonderfully well up there. So there is Miss Kardashian. Um, I don't know what function she was going to. Her eyelashes are a lot longer down here, and I wish I could do a little bit more as far as the height of her lashes up there. What I can do is just put on a good... Thing of mascara. So at least they're more visible up there. Yep, that's a lot better. Actually. Well, what do you know? Demi Wispies just need a coat of mascara and then they're just like Miss Kardashian's long lashes. Look at that. I'll do a couple on the bottom. All right, so there we go. Um, she was going out to a nice, beautiful, I'm sure, function where everybody looked lovely, and I'm going to pick up my kindergartner. Woohoo! Mom with the big glossy lips. Might have to take these off and do a nice nude lip. Um, I'm taking my son out to lunch today. He's finally overstrapped. I had two boys home with strep throat. My kindergartner and my second grader, both of them, down for the count. So today I cleaned the whole entire house. 
and it feels good. The sun is shining. There's still snow on the ground, but it is a beautiful day, and I'm so excited to go out and tackle it, and I hope you are too. So do your makeup, feel pretty, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I just wanted you to see what it would look like if you took all of that off and just put on a clear gloss. Um, and I like my hair slicked back a little bit more than way up high, so I just did a sleek ponytail. Um, but yeah, basically that's Kim Kardashian, and I hope that you guys liked it, and I hope that you'll try it. And um, this one I just put, I wiped it off, did some concealer on my lips, and then I used Maybelline Nude Flash. Love this stuff. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later again. Bye.